How long do you think you can survive without sufficient blood cells, oxygen in circulation, or if your immune system is compromised? Not long, right? Now, the reason why I ask this question is that without healthy bone marrow, your body cannot actually make enough red blood cells which has transport oxygen to different cells and tissue of your body. Your immune system also becomes compromised, okay, because your white blood cells are also being manufactured. They are producing your bone marrow. So taking care of your bone marrow is actually very important and should be seen as a cornerstone for a healthy lifestyle. Without healthy bone marrow, there is going to be a lot of problem and this can actually result in death. So what I want to share with you in this video is the right food you need to start eating to maintain healthy bone marrow. Taking care of your bone marrow is very, very important, okay? Now the first food I would actually recommend is fatty fish. Fatty fish is very important, not just for your bone marrow alone, for your heart function, for lowering your cholesterol, for maintaining insulin sensitivity, okay? But the reason why I actually recommend you start eating fatty fish is that it is a great source of omega-3 fatty acid which is very anti-inflammatory and it has been shown that eating fatty fish has reduced inflammation to your bone marrow cells and this can actually help protect or prevent against cellular damage in your bone marrow. If you have damage to those cells in the bone marrow that makes red blood cells or white blood cells, that can actually result in anemia and that can also result in your immune system being compromised, okay? So I would actually recommend you start eating fatty fish. Now, the second food which is very, very important for your bone marrow, this is not actually a food but a herb. Now, this herb is Moringa leaf extract. Moringa is one of the most valued plant food serving as a powerhouse of nutrients like minerals, vitamins, as well as essential amino acids which are the building block for protein, which are the amino acids that your body cannot make. Now, Moringa is often called the tree of life or the miracle tree. That's because of its nutritional component, its medicinal properties. It's a great source of calcium, it's a great source of iron, it's a great source of potassium, as well as vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E, all of which are all important in bone marrow function, in the production of red blood cells, as well as in the maintenance of your bone health, okay? Now, the other interesting thing about Moringa is that it antioxidant component also protects your also protects your bone marrow cells against free radicals and oxidative stress which can result in cellular damage okay so basically what you have to do is to is, is to take a moringa leaf extract you can take the powder form and you're going just going to dissolve it inside your water and you're going to drink it that is going to give you all of these benefits now the third food which is very important for bone marrow is shiitake mushroom this mushroom has a lot of important nutrients. It has a polysaccharide called beta-glucan, which is very good for your bone marrow. It helps maintain the integrity of your bone marrow. And aside from that, it also stimulates the production of white blood cells, which is your immune system, which helps your body to fight off against bacteria as well as fungi infection. Okay. Now, the other interesting thing about this shiitake mushroom is that it's a great source of vitamin D when exposed to sunlight. And we all know the function of vitamin D in the body. It is in calcium absorption, which helps in building healthy bones that houses your bone marrow. If your bones are being damaged, if you have fracture in your bone, what's going to happen to the bone marrow that is inside? You're going to have problems with your bone marrow, and that can result in less blood in your, in your system, okay? So you actually have to be taking this mushroom. It's very good for, for your bone marrow health. Now, the number four is by eating eggs. Now, the reason why I actually recommend you start eating eggs is that they are a great source of quality protein. I'm talking about the essential amino acids which serves as a building block for, which serve as a building block or as a raw material for your bone marrow in making white blood cells, okay? Without having this raw material inside of your body, your bone marrow is not going to be able to function to carry out all of their function by making your blood cells. Okay, so you have to be taking eggs. Taking two eggs a day is not actually bad. You can actually do that. All right, the next food which I'm gonna talk about that is very, very important for your bone marrow is turmeric. Turmeric is very important. It has wide range of benefits. Now, the active ingredient in this turmeric is actually called curcumin. And this curcumin has been shown to 
to have heart protective function and aside from that what makes it actually really important for your bone marrow is that it stimulates the regeneration of bone marrow stem cells as well as acting as antioxidants protecting your bone marrow cells against the damaging effects of free radicals and oxidative stress so by taking this food by taking turmeric this active ingredient is going to do a whole lot for your for your bone marrow okay now aside from all of these foods you need to be taking vitamins like vitamin b9 as well as vitamin b12 which is cobalamin these two vitamins are very important in the production of red blood cells without these vitamins there's going to be a lot of problems you could have anemia okay i actually recommend you start taking these two vitamins along with this food vitamin b9 and vitamin b12 okay